Hello, 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 everybody. It has been too long, I tell you that. But it feels so good to be back. And I've been on a bit of a spiritual journey lately with a friend of mine. And, you know, without my friend, I wouldn't be able to understand myself the way that I do. And I was able to discover quite a few things. It's kind of like the spiritual journey is. It's like when you, when you lose hope, when the world just keeps beating you down, you, something in you reminds you to just keep going. And that's, that's kind of what happened to me where, where my subconscious actually took over my conscious state of mind. And, you know, it's, it's no secret. I, I partake in marijuana. It is a healthy, natural substance that offers meditative properties to be able to handle mental illnesses. You know, it's, it's scientifically proven. Can't deny the facts of that. <laughs> but I figured with how, with just how things have been for me lately, holy moly, I could only imagine what things have been for everybody else. And my lovely friend, Donna. <laughs> oh, I don't, oh, it's, it's so nice to just be able to say that. Because it's, it's what makes life really meaningful. Having some of the bestest friends out there to be able to withstand who you are as a person. And most people can't for me because there's just so much to me. You know, I was able through that journey to be able to discover that I truly do have dissociative identity disorder. One of the most complicated and unresearched mental illnesses that are out there. And I've, I've done my research on it. There's, there's no cure for it. And that's kind of what I'm doing on my journey here is trying to find a cure for it. Because I feel like if I can take care of that, well, I can take care of anything, per se. And that's why I am so focused on mental health and philosophy and, and music and art and, and smiles and laughter. Because those are what really, those are the little things that make this big picture so beautiful to be in. And my goodness. Anyways. I just want to play some music for you guys. Chill out with me. Holy moly. I need to chill. I hope y'all need to chill with me or something. <laughs> but I hope. I haven't played in a couple weeks, honestly. Barely touched this thing. Sometimes when your mind goes, you forget to do the things that make you happy. Or... Take care of those people around you that make you happy and here we are I'm gonna put on a capo because yeah i forgot i forgot in that short couple weeks that i could even play guitar that's how that is how separated my mind can be from reality and i well i hate that you're not alone. <laughs> you are not alone.
<laughs> Raw and filthy, just like me. I tell you what, I am an emotionally disturbed hippie. <laughs> Take it as it is. What I say doesn't have to be right, but what I have experienced and what I have read through, through knowledge-based sources, I mean, without the internet, I don't know. I wouldn't know 75% of the things that I know without the internet. And can I trust that place as a, a final source of information that isn't trying to delude me any further of my misprojected assumptions of reality? I don't know. And well, without knowing, honestly, because, well, it's been a spiritual journey for me to find my beliefs, find the authenticity of who I am as a person, and I wouldn't be able to be that without my best friend. <laughs> ah, but my goodness. One of the greatest things that I learned from all that reading and studying lately is that some of the greatest minds out there, just like myself, think highly of themselves. <laughs> but also, think that music is one of the key sources of joy in life. And from my experience in that, I've been playing guitar for nine years now. And... Without, without music, I don't know where I'd be either. There's a lot of things in this life that help keep me constructed, constructively engaging in healthy activities as well as unhealthy activities to be able to prosper as that was one of the things. So, so here's something with that disassociative identity disorder. With, a lot of it stems from empathy and digging deeper into the science of the mind called psychology. So empathy and psychology fuse together. And when I'm reading certain things or when I'm experienced um, certain things with people or things, you know, there's this type of affinity, this understanding of relation that comes from understanding a lot of Alan Watts material, the science of meditation. He did an amazing, um, comprehensive dissection of the Buddhism, Hinduism um, world on a scientific level of trying to nail all them discrepancies so there was less confusion and the more that he taught he had such a great way with it he's he's an inspiration for me in a sense because of that like with the the did we call it you you attach yourself to the things out in the world that you want to become and then in the sense of that it also stems into self-confidence and what you attach outwards in order to gain that self-confidence because at the end of the day, none of us knew anything before we started watching the world or hearing things. None of us knew a darn thing. So, do we still know anything? Or are we just playing the monkey see, monkey do game and repeating all these actions? Like, where's the line that separates you and what everybody else is doing? You know, like, for me personally, it, it comes a lot from beliefs, and then the stigmas of what our humanity has um, accumulated for where you're born, you know, who your parents are, how much money you have, um, your living circumstances, your mental health, your ability to have skills or no skills, like so many factors. To look out for. Sorry, my mind was getting lost on the train of thought dispersed out into the open. 
Because that's another thing most people don't know, because nobody asks, really. I try my best to think and speak at once, because it is a... You know, I've researched all these all these smart people, and I did that, like, eight years ago. And then I lived my life and just experienced things, and then I got lost in a complacent notion of feeling achieved for doing nothing, playing games all day, smoking weed, doing a bunch of other drugs. And my goodness, it, um... It fills a void, and maybe that's kind of what it is all it comes down to, is there's this void out there that just, I think a lot of that void stems from the subconscious, honestly, because it's another area like DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, that is unexplored. Areas to the mind that we haven't fully grasped yet. And I feel like I'm personally, through my own self of, of, treacherous trauma and things of that nature and then trying to actually do something about it not just letting it not letting it overwhelm me so much but holy shit my, my bad on the language but my goodness i don't get it on why we hurt the ones that we love i think see i say that but then i rethink because that's what the that's what it does. There's so many perspectives that keeps me guessing, and then it really just comes down to, do I know anything? I may know all these different perspectives, but at the end of the day, what's the solid, obstructive truth? Thank you. 
is what the overthinkers should do. <laughs> oh, it's just chill. Chill. Find something to do to pass the time and take away from your brain. Because I've stopped playing video games. And, you know, honestly, I'm not sure if that was a great idea. Because the more time I have to think, the more in less than just a couple weeks I can go from one person to eight in a sense of mitzing perspectives because that's a lot of what it is you know a lot of my problems team from trauma that's that's just what it is childhood trauma and you figure out a way to deal with it either by yourself or you seek professional med medical help and honestly seek professional help seek professional help i I'm no professional, and I'm raw dodging all my illnesses, smoking weed, and honestly, that's what I want. That's what I prefer, raw dodging it. Having a complete sense of control in a way of that. I don't know, drugs alter the mind to so much degree that it's hard to say that you're ever really in control. And let me tell you for a fact that movies, this right here, music, some of the more natural things that you wouldn't think about are drugs. Playing them games, watching TV, because they alter the state of mind to reach a peak of dopamine usually, that, that um, ingredient inside our mind that enters a state of sweetness. Like, like eating chocolate is usually natural way to get it. Um, enjoying the sun on a windy day while the clouds are just ever so cut on a gentle horizon. <laughs> you know, there's just so many things. Reading can take you away, take you into a journey into somebody else's head. And <laughs> I am, um, I'm trapped in here. <laughs> Anybody else can just go away and walk away. But I'm stuck here like this. So why not try to find help for everybody? Grow, prosper. As, as one of the cusping ideas that granted me access back into a state of enlightenment. And enlightenment for me in a sense, through all my troublesome traumas, um, great reflections would be um, The Shadow Self by Carl Jung as it really fully documents the study of what a man of a great mind put his entire life's work almost into understanding how trauma affects us in multiple different ways. And one of them being The Shadow Self where it disconnects into another part. And the th funny thing about that it's also kind of a secret is that we all have it. There's all something like this inside you. And it's just we willfully ignore it because we're too busy doing what everybody else wants. And I want what I want. And that's freedom. Freedom of the mind. Freedom to share my weirdness. I want freedom for other people to accept how unique they are and different. That what I think would be a great place to be. Because it's, it's the, the, the starting point of something, I feel. It's on, the, it's on the horizon indeed. Because with all of what's going on, war, inflation, cryptocurrency, TFTs, going to Mars, people buying out Twitter, America going downhill and that's just from what I know you know there's so many other things out there in the world that I don't know that's why I'm looking to y'all <laughs> looking for y'all to guide me to help guide you in creating a, a circling melding pot of good vibes because that's that is truly what I want to give out to the world but there's a lot of lot of things inside me that aren't happy that aren't good and well it takes meditation it takes 
concentration. It takes poetry. It takes the will to never resist a Constantinople idea of precipitation raining down in the clouds, and we can't keep it. We're often thoughts and pacing. Things the streets are weakening mean our feet are glistening and keeping our pace forward and sweet cleeping of any disease that be <laughs> infecting us. <laughs> <laughs> It just feels so good to be happy again. It is the best feeling in the world. And it takes a lot. It takes a lot to get here. Now, to stay here, that's the real trouble. You know, just as hard as it is to get here, to actually stay here, it's almost impossible. And that's because the world's just in such a, you know, organized chaos, disarray that we try to acclaim some type of power over. That is what we're all searching for, friends. <laughs> a power to just be happy. A will to thrive, as I like to proclaim. A place of prospering and peace and growing out with art as a release. To make sure that our synapses are firing properly and we're no longer entrapped by empty disease. <sighs> takes a while though. Takes a lot of self-discipline. Cold showers. Cold showers, meditation, long walks, being out in nature, studying great knowledge helps release you of this prison. But I, still, <laughs> I want to play some more. That's what I'm going to do. hurt because it's like I said it's been a couple weeks since I played but this right here another update because I was putting my two weeks in for my other job so I could put all my time and effort into this one because this is the one that makes me feel happy and that's just pretty much what I discovered it's all I want and one way or another 
it's going to happen because I am not going to give up even after it happens because I'm already kind of happy now. But I know, I know for a fact, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. <laughs> There's just so many different um, things out in the world that afflict our emotions. And if you don't control those emotions, they slip out and consume others incredibly so. Such as this <laughs> fly be gone. <laughs> Such as That fly took my thought, that's for darn sure. <laughs> but look, just, oh man, it's so nice to see that picture back there. It reminds me I can do stuff like that too. It really, it's not something y'all want, but it is a skill set derived from exploring everything in this world that can create a sense of meaning. Because I also have OCD. I have a slight specks of schizophrenia, insomnia, anxiety, depression, bipolarity. I've dealt with bulimia, anorexia. I've dealt with what it was like to want to be a transsexualite, vestite, whatever, like all them feelings. So many different types of thoughts and perspectives. And I tell you what. For the disconnected people self like me, it's all just you. It's all just you. Consciousness, a state of consciousness, and a state of subconsciousness. These two things right here are real. And you are like the instrument in a sense. And say the will are the things moving the strings. And your strings are the synapses in your mind. So okay. The guitar is your brain. The strings are the synapses. And your will, your combined conscious and subconscious will, are what? Blend them together in order to create music. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, what a spiritual journey. And I feel like, like I've gone super saiyan. I'm about to Kamehameha, Kamehameha. <laughs> oh, anime though too. Y'all should check that out. There's so many great ones. Some of my favorites for just right now, um, all time. Full Metal Alchemist and Brotherhood, as you should watch it. Full Metal Alchemist and then Brotherhood. There's Death Note, um, Cowboy Bebop. Trinity Gun, pretty sure. Tri just Trinity, maybe. Um, Code Dias, Lush of the Rebellion. Honestly, this new one I watched, um, Jujutsu Kaisen, a very strong concept of light and dark emotions. I binged a lot of it. Maybe that's what kind of. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of things. It all built up to put me through that mental note that I went on for a couple weeks there. But hey, still here, <laughs> still kicking, still trying to do my part and bring a smile back to this world because my goodness, the place can be so bitter. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. It certainly most definitely does not have to be a bad place. <laughs> mm. Y'all have a fantastic day. Try to do your best. Try to, if you can, try to take care of yourself by isolating different factors within your life, like routines, cleanliness, hygiene, chores, school, knowledge, application of creative thought processes. And you can go far. Honestly, y'all just need to just keep doing more. Just do more and your life will be more full. Simple. 
do that, does this. Honestly, my life got a million times better <laughs> when I started listening to myself because, well, I, I've trained for almost 15 years now or more to be a psychological detective from all my trauma. I really wanted to figure out why my dad did what he did. And well, I figured it out. And unfortunately, it was too late. He already put he already put his illnesses inside me through words and actions and all that. And well, I'm just doing my best to not continue the cycle of negative creations. But you hurt the ones you love because nobody's going to keep you around unless they love you. Especially not someone like me who is a spiky ball of anger, hate, bitterness, happiness, sweetness, love, affection, crazy, sane, curious, and different. <laughs> I'm just different. <laughs> and it don't matter. We're all different. We should be proud to be different. Y'all should just be hooked on a feeling, hooked on a feeling, believing that things will just work out somehow, as that's another concept that I don't talk about much because it's out of my realm of factual-based discrepancies, but fate and destiny kind of thing, where some things are just so mysterious on how it works out that you're just like, especially with me, with my scrut sc scrutinous eye, yeah, sc scrutinous, scrutiny, scrutinize. So, <laughs> so many ways, same the same the word in order to identify past, present, or future context, pretense of the following sentence structure. Dang, forgot where I was going. Have a great day, guys. Take care and leave some comments. Leave some comments, please. Tell me what y'all want to explore and I'll try my best. This is, this is me recovering and I have already about 12 different things written, scattered around and maybe even more because there's some, some other stuff that I <laughs> just lost in the spatial web. But... Don't give up, no matter what. Do not give up, and you will survive. Survive, because it's not easy. It's hard. But if you don't give up, there will become a moment in your life, once again, that you can be happy. It's like, it truly is. It truly is like being sick. And while you're sick, everything's just awful. Everything's amplified, you get headaches, you get this pounding in your head, tiredness, absolute dread. And then all of a sudden, after a few days, a week, couple, whatever, it's just gone. There's the clarity, things are coming back. There's like a bright sunny sky somewhere in your mind saying, hey, smile champ, you're feeling good again. <laughs> I love you guys because it makes me a stronger person to love everyone, no matter how different they are. But love is a strange, strange essence as it is, as it connects to the conscious and subconscious will to empower your body to go beyond things. <gasps> there I am in another light, unmasked. <laughs> Speaking of unmasked, the reason why I got my face the way I got is because of, um, it's because of V for Vendetta, if you've ever watched that show, movie, I mean, great movie about revolution, conspiracy stuff, definitely gets your mind working, but, <laughs> you know, it's the anonymous mask, I wear it on my face because I'm proud to be what I am. 
and even to myself, but still anonymous. Peace and love, and take care of your heart, take care of your mind, and they will go back and create that dopamine, dopamine you need, and serotonin you need to escape anxiety and depression. Just have a great day, okay guys, please?